This is Behind the Line Podcast, and this is Pacific Northwest Headline News in three minutes for Tuesday, January 25th, 2022. Fife, Washington, a woman was shot after she went out to her car to start it to warm it up in the morning and left it running. The car was stolen. She chased the car thief down. The suspect shot her twice and ran off. She did get her car back. She is in stable condition in the hospital. Washington State Department of Health says a new COVID variant called BA2 has been found in Washington. Clinically, this is the same as Omicron, however, may go undetected on PCR tests. They say it's too early to tell if it is more dangerous than Omicron. BA2 already makes up 50% of the country of Denmark's COVID cases at this time. So you should continue being scared and follow all the protocols set by the state. Be scared, be afraid, blah, blah, blah. Two Oregon district attorneys and the families of three murder victims have filed a lawsuit against Democratic Governor Kate Brown over her approach to granting clemency, arguing that it's against the law. They claim she's freed almost a thousand people without properly notifying the victims or their families in advance. Of those released, three were convicted of murder, two of sex crimes against children, and three of robberies with weapons, including a stabbing and a failed attempt to shoot a customer in a store. This is uh, out of eight people released in one district. She's also considering clemency for the Oregon Christmas killer who could go free after just 14 years of serving a 25-to-life sentence. Typical Democrat, not concerned about the safety of regular tax-paying people at all. California Democrat Richard Pan, Democrat of Sacramento, has introduced Senate Bill 871, which would add COVID-19 vaccines to California's list of required inoculations for attending K-12 schools, which can be skipped only if a student receives a rare medical exemption. The same Democrat also introduced another bill which would eliminate the personal belief exemption from school-based vaccinations. Yes, you are not allowed to think for yourself or make decisions for your own child and what you believe is best. Welcome to America. Meridian, Idaho, the West Ada County School Board has voted to stop notifying parents of positive coronavirus cases in the classroom. Southern Idaho is also under crisis standard of care at local hospitals due to staffing and blood shortages. This has been Behind the Line Podcast, Pacific Northwest headline news in three minutes. For more, visit BehindTheLinePodcast.com. Thanks for listening.